when we take a look at these two cards, the one on the left seems a bit off in terms of design, but the one on the right seems a bit balanced. Let me show you something else that is also very interesting. Over here, we want to see how responsive these cards are. So as I make the screen smaller, that sort of like mimics how small the screen size is that we're looking at. So I want you to, to uh, pay close attention to the spacing between the elements of the card on the left. So you'll notice that the size still stays the same between items. In fact, it looks like it's moving further and further apart. And the one on the right seems to be maintaining everything. I mean, even the size, everything looks great. Now, I'm going to go further down until I get to, let's say, a mobile phone. And again, you see that on the left, things don't look very good. The, the, the small paragraph text is now further and further away from the heading. And then if you go all the way down, to let's say the mobile phone the one on the top yes most designers will design and say that is fine but the one on the bottom now looks very clean this is because we're using a spacing system and this spacing system is responsive now let's go over here and I'll show you how I was able to design this from scratch on the left is what you get out of Divi so if you put all your elements together you know your image your heading your paragraph text that's how it goes in by default in Divi so most designers would think that okay maybe um, that's how it's supposed to be because a lot of the times when you uh, look at tutorials online they don't talk about the UI aspect of design they just talk about how to use the builder itself but in order for us to design amazing looking websites which look professional we have to be, we have to go beyond just how the builder works but we need to specialize in how UI designers actually design things it's because there are principles on how we make things look beautiful. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate this and drag it over to the right. So the first thing you want to do in this, uh, in this scenario is you want to use a spacing system. So you need to go ahead and create clamp-based sizes. So you'd come over here and go to numbers and add all your spacings okay you can see all this is based on it's all based on clamp so you need to go ahead and create those and then use them to make sure everything is what is precise and everything is uh, fluid by the way if you're a Divi user and you'd like to master how Divi works I have a course called Divi 5 mastery at the moment it has over a thousand students and this course is fantastic because it teaches you how the builder works as you know dv5 has been built from the ground up and it's completely different from how dv4 works and definitely dv5 is the future of how we need to be designing websites in wordpress so sometimes it can come with a bit of uh, difficulty because it's it's a brand new ui but this course simplifies anything and even better i'm going to be adding new lessons and modules and once you purchase this course you don't need to pay any extra this course is only 27 dollars that's it so you won't be charged any extra when i add new modules and lessons you purchase it now and then you get locked into that price all right so let's continue on with our tutorial all right so over here, the first thing you want to do is to get rid of the spacing and all the sizes that we have. So I'm going to go in and uh, check where things were changed. And the quickest way to do this is to actually right click and then we're going to go on to uh, inspect. Okay, so where we want to go is over here on the numbers because this is where the padding is and all of that. So we need to reset everything. So you can see that's gone. Uh, the border radius is gone. So basically, we want to get rid of everything because the standard way of building with pixels is not the correct way of doing things. All right, so now let's go in and use our design system called Crafter, by the way. So we're going to come over here now and first of all, add the padding around. Okay, so we're going to go on to design and then over here on uh, spacing, we want the padding. So we're going to go with padding large like that. Okay. So, so far so good. The next thing we need to do is to add the rounded corners. So we're gonna come over here to border and we're gonna go for radius. Mm, let's try medium. Okay, uh, maybe we could go large. Let's see how large looks. All right, so we're gonna go with large. Next, we're gonna come over here. Now, I want you to notice the, the, the design process. I'm not even thinking about, oh, is it 12 pixels? Is it two RAM? Is it three RAM? No, I'm just entering my presets. So over here on the image, I'm going to do the same thing. 
making sure I'm on design. I'm going to go to border. Let's go medium. There we go. So I think medium looks perfect. The next step now is to make sure that everything here is tied onto my presets. So we're going to start here with the heading. So I'm going to go to my heading text and it's set to heading one. I think that's a bit too much. Let's go to uh, heading five. In fact, let's go to heading four. And then over here, I have my presets. So I'm going to come over here, choose heading four. And just by doing that, I've selected my size. Now, if you feel that, okay, it's a bit too, uh, it's a bit too small, you can always come over here to heading three and then you come over here and change your preset. So now it's a bit bigger. Okay. Next, we also want to adjust our size, the, uh, the icon size. So I'm going to come over here again. I'm not using specific numbers. I'm using the design system to decide what I need in here. So for the icon, I'm going to go in and then for the icon size, you can see here it's set to 96 pixels. We don't want that because if we set it to 96 pixels, it's going to be a static value, but we want things to be fluid and responsive. So I'm going to come over here on this little icon here because this is where I have all my presets. So I'm going to go with large and I think that's perfect. Or if I feel like, okay, maybe I might go with extra large, I can just make it extra large and that will pretty much work fine for me. Okay, so I'm now going to go in and make sure that everything is set to centered, okay, which it is, which is brilliant. Now let's move on to this paragraph text. So I'm going to click here and again, I have a specific value set to my paragraph text. So I'm going to click here on my presets and then I'm going to choose my body text. So now everything is fluid, including the spacing and my text. The next step now is to make sure that I have my correct spacing because right now it's pretty much the same in terms of spacing. So I'm going to click here on my group settings and then I'm now going to go to layout. Okay, the top one here. So I'm going to click in here and say gap zero. So by adding gap zero, I've removed all the spacing between all my elements. And now I need to introduce them intentionally. So what I'm going to do now is to click on the first item here, which is my icon and my text. So with that selected, I'm just going to collapse this so that uh, at least, uh, I mean, close it so that at least we are not confused here. So the next step now is to go to spacing. So on the spacing here, I'm going to go with margin top large because I think um, my heading and my image needs a much bigger space between the, um, the uh, paragraph text. Okay, so margin top, let's try large. So I'm going to scroll down here until I find margin top large. I'm going to select that. The next step is to come over to the bottom one here. So I'm going to select it and I'm also going to go to spacing over here and I'm going to go with margin top. Let's go extra small. There we go because uh, these two items are related. So they, have, they need to be much closer together. So now that it's complete, let's do a quick preview. So I'm going to click here and you can see now that this here has much better spacing than the one on the left because the spacing here is just way too much. If I go on to the smaller version, Again, you can see that the bottom one here is much, much cleaner than the top one. Even the icon has gone smaller because everything is based on clamp and it's also based on our design system. So this is the correct way of uh, designing your websites in Divi. And it just ensures that everything looks great. And also, if this was to uh, go through, let's say, a um, accessibility test, you'll find that this one, the way we've designed the second one also passes because our fonts are based on clamp. So you may be asking, so how much is this design system? Well, The design system is $77. It has the spacing scale. It has all the colors. It has pretty much everything you need to design professional looking websites with Divi. I have a complete video that goes through uh, the features and how it works. And this is the only design system in Divi that you need in order for you to take your designs to the next level. Stop designing like an average uh, designer that has just purchased Divi, but go a step further 
and make your websites look intentionally designed. This will definitely make you even more money because you're going to attract customers that are used to seeing things that just look perfect and things that just work. So this $77 will get you the um, Crafter DV5 design system. You can use it on unlimited websites and all the um, templates and everything we're going to be building is going to be based on this design system. So it is very, very beneficial. The link to that will be in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon.